Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting Legal Futures webinar, this time on the topic of satisfaction and redemption in the context of wills. So I'm Roman Kubiak and I'm head of the contested wills, trusts and estates team at Hugh James and today I'll be guiding you through the key topics and issues including looking at satisfaction generally before drilling down into the four sort of subcategories of satisfaction, which are satisfaction of legacies by portions, satisfaction of portion debts by legacies or portions, satisfaction of debts by legacies, and satisfaction of legacies by legacies. And don't worry, this will all become a lot clearer if you're unfamiliar with this. So I'll talk about what these mean, the key case law and practical points for practitioners. I'll then discuss redemption and again look at key case law and practical points for practitioners before finally turning to potential reform in the area. I'm even going to throw in a little bit of Latin for you hardcore academics and intellectuals. So when someone asks you what the Romans have ever done for us, you can say they've obviously given you Latin and me personally, I've given you the finer points on satisfaction and redemption. So then without further ado, Tempus Fujit and all that, what exactly is satisfaction? Well, satisfaction in the context of wills and testamentary dispositions is an equitable doctrine which affects property. It was defined in the 1867 case of Chichester and Coventry as the donation of a thing with the intention that is to be taken either wholly or in part an extinguishment of some prior claim to the donee. So let's take an example here. I've got, a, I've got an apple for you, but if I promise to buy you this apple and arrive at the greengrocers only to find that there are no apples and return with a pair instead, does that gift to you of the pair satisfy the promise to buy you an apple? The key is my intention. I mean, forget that it's probably a rubbish gift. But anyway, the key is my intention and the court has to be satisfied with the help in certain cases of legal presumptions that the intention behind buying the pair was to replace the obligation to buy the apple. This follows the equitable maxim that equity looks to the intent rather than to the form. Of course, this ignores any potential estoppel arguments which may arise on the basis that in reliance upon the promise to buy you an apple, you went out and bought all the necessary ingredients to make a delicious apple pie. But that is a topic for a completely different talk. Ademption, which also applies in certain cases of satisfaction, is where specific legacy in a will fails to take effect, i.e. it's a deemed because the testator no longer owns the subject matter of the legacy at the time. So for instance, Granny Smith promises to leave you an apple in her will, but at the time of her death, there is no apple. In its widest sense, satisfaction covers four situations, as I've alluded to in the introduction, in which a testamentary disposition may extinguish or be extinguished by some other obligation of or provision made by the testator. So again, these are satisfaction of legacies by portions, which essentially is itself a form actually of redemption rather than satisfaction, satisfaction of portion debts by legacies or portions, satisfaction of debts by legacies, and satisfaction of legacies by legacies. These four heads widely differ, differ as regards the subject matter. So for example, 